One of my favorite saints is um, John Vianney. And uh, I think there's just so many reasons, but one of the reasons is just his, just his commitment to the humanity of people. You know, he was almost kicked out of seminary because he, um, well, to be blunt, he was just too stupid. Couldn't learn his lessons, couldn't pass his tests. Um, some person intervened for him and basically said to the bishop, well, you know, let's, he's a good man, he's got a good spirituality, he loves God, he loves people. Let's ordain him, even though he's stupid, and we'll send him to the end of nowhere to some little rural parish and, um, you know, keep him out of harm's way or, or limit the damage he could do or whatever the thinking was. And so they sent him to this village of ours and, and the people came, you know. His goodness was so magnetic that people just started coming there. So many people came there that the French government built a railway line off the main railway line straight into the village of ours just so that people could get there. So many people were going there every day, every week, every month to see this, um, this parish priest. And he would hear confessions for like 10, 12, 14 hours a day, just talk to people. He would be with people. He would bring God to people. And um, it's just such a powerful, powerful story. Within 10 years of his death, they ripped that train line up. Nobody used it anymore. And, uh, and what the saints teach us what John Vianney teaches us is that the incredible possibilities that exist for us are not dependent on our gifts, our talents, our abilities. Very often when we plan our lives, we put a plan together in accord with our gifts, our talents, our abilities, our desires, that sort of thing. But then when we invite God into our lives, when we realize that God has a better plan for us, everything changes. We realize, wow, that's a tiny little insignificant plan we put together for ourselves because God sees all these amazing possibilities that we don't see. And God reveals these amazing plans to us. The question is, is how detached are we to our own plans? Are we willing to step back from our own plans? Are we willing to detach from our own plans and turn to God and say, all right, God, what is your plan for me today? What is your plan for me this year? What is your plan for my life? And, and to ask the big question, God, what is it that you want me to do? What is it that you are calling me to, inviting me to, because he sees things we don't see. He sees things we don't see. And if we're too attached to our own little plans, we miss out on his amazing possibilities. So as you go into your quiet time with God today, I just encourage you Pray this short, simple prayer. Lord, I am open to your amazing possibilities. Lord, I'm open to your amazing possibilities. Did you know that 71% of the people that watch Matthew Kelly's videos are not subscribers? That makes no sense. We need to change that. Subscribe today. Hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, and turn on those notifications so you never miss out on another great video ever again.